Hey, today I'm going charity shop shopping, which is one of my all time favorite things to do. I've moved somewhere that actually has more charity shops than the last place I lived. So I'm gonna go and have a look at the shops in Hartford. Um, there are quite a few and I'm gonna be looking at clothes, obviously, cause I've got an obsession with clothes, I've got a problem. But I am, because we've just moved house, going to be looking at um, homeware as well. So in the kitchen, I'm not a huge fan. Sorry, I've got a shaky hand. Um, I'm not a huge fan of having um, kind of matching kitchenware. So I'm going to be on the lookout for cute bowls and cute plates and things. Because so, I like to have a mismatching set. Maybe I'll share with you the set I've got so far. We've got a few of our average like white bowls and stuff. Because um, if we do have people around, it would be nice to have the odd thing similar so these are our boring ones I've got only two of these side plates at the moment boring plates cute ones and now my bowls are where I are at the point at which I would like my plates so we've got different prints here we've got cat bowl from anthropology different colored bowls at the back and another anthropology gem so really my plates are lacking in pizzazz I'm not about going to buy um, a whole set of the same plates and matching bowls, matching side plates, or having a toaster and kettle that match. I'm not about that. Um, so I'm going to go have a look at some of the homeware stuff and look at the clothes because clearly I need more clothes. Um, there's a few other bits and bobs I've got to do, like pick up some tights, um, run a few mild errands, um, but I won't bother taking you those to those because that'd be a real a real treat for you, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, I am going to show you what I'm wearing today and then I'm going to get rolling because it's almost lunchtime. Um, not timed this very well, I'm going out just before lunchtime so I'm probably going to get hangry halfway through the shopping journey and stop for some food. <laughs> the first bit of my outfit, I guess, is my hair, slightly different. Um, I mean slightly different, it's nothing that wild. <laughs> Normally I'm used to having a centre part in and just being really boring. I washed my hair last night and it's feeling a bit fluffier so I've got a bit more volume and then I've put it to one side had a little bit of extra hair so I plaited it and then put a little colourful bobble in there and that's that's what's going on right now I don't really know I'm not a fan really to be honest at the moment but I don't have time to go change it so I'm gonna go look at this face this is the face of someone that has just got changed like three times and then finally decided on an outfit, which the shoes are kind of uncomfortable, but I'm just, I'm just doing it because I'm getting really quite annoyed. It's now like half past 12 and I've wasted loads of my time and I'm probably going to come back with no plates. And if I don't film this, then I'm just going to have gone out, looked for plates, not got any and not filmed anything and come back home and just be like, Bleh. that's where I'm at right now. But this is the outfit in question. So it's mildly better. So um, you can see really how messy my room is. So, um, this top says not interested. So that is my Lazy Oaf purchase from the sample sale recently. Um, then I've got on my trusty cheap Monday second skin jeans. Super duper comfy. And then on my feet I have my trusty bright green juju jellies. And then on my back, I have my silver backpack. So I'm going to go try to shop shopping and I'm going to find plates and I'm going to edit a video and it's going to be good. It's a good job I changed out of those bloody velvet clothes and the boots or shoes and socks on combo I had. I did have boots briefly but you didn't see those. Um, so I'm really happy that I'm actually in sandals and a short sleeve top because look how sunny it is. Lovely.
It was real slim pickings in the charity shops today. It was like Primark stuff, um, stuff from Tesco. Just, I was not really what I was expecting. Um, there was that really cute gingham dress, but it kind of didn't really suit my shape because I'm a bit of a stick straight up and down and I need something to kind of show off. <laughs> I don't know, the parts that may not be totally stick-like. Um, so having a big old baggy dress like that doesn't really, it didn't really suit me, I don't think. Um, I'm now struggling a little bit because I have shopping. I'm trying to walk home and now I have a little bit of a hill to go up. And by hill, I mean mild incline. <laughs> okay, here is my mild incline and I'm going up, up, up to the top. Still going up. Up I go. <laughs> Say hi, Albus. I came outside so I could come and share with you some of the pieces that I purchased. Sorry, I'm so really hot. Um, but then there's loads of drilling happening around me, behind me, front me. So if it carries on, I'm going to stop. But. I found two plates. Well, I say two plates. I found one plate and I got two. I know, I know, I said I didn't want matching, but... Look at this little guy. I might wave two fingers. And a cute little side plate. So I got two of those, they're a pound each. In New Look, I had to go in for some tights. Um, and I came up with no tights on the principle that two pairs of tights for five pounds don't think so so I'm just gonna end up in this ever-ending ever-ending never-ending cycle of Primark tights where they rip but I go back and buy more and then they rip and then I go back and buy more so maybe I should have bought them for five pound but anyway I got this super super sassy leather look leather look <laughs> leather look skirt from New Look um, I've tried it on in mustard colour before and it was beautiful that was when it was full price and unfortunately they only had the pink one in the sale just now so if I come across the mustard coloured one, then I'm probably going to get that too. But I really like that, it was £7. Then, I'm not going to be able to get these out now, I bought some plants. I don't know if you can see in there. Maybe I'll get them out for you in a sec. But I bought one for myself, and then I bought one for my sister. Um, I got it because she likes succulents and stuff, but there's this one succulent that my old housemate used to have, and my sister was just in love with it. So. Um, I bought this succulent because it looks loads like it, but like one piece, whereas my friend had one that had loads of different like bits coming off of a stem. You might have seen it in some of my old videos actually. Um, it was a staple in my old videos. <laughs> this is the little guy that I got for my sister. So pretty much like your average cactus. Cactus, that's really not a cactus. Pretty much like your average succulent. But I think... No, I think I bought a succulent. I'm looking at the stem more and more. Sorry, Chan. Um, but on the top, it looks so much like it. So I don't know if it is, and it just grows differently. I don't know. Um, and then I got myself this weird one. The little bits keep falling off. I'm hoping that the bits that keep falling off will propagate themselves, chilling in the soil. Look at this little weird guy. Yeah, the lady that put it in the bag though, she was a bit rough and she manhandled him and quite a few bits fell off, but yeah, he's really strange. Anyone, does anyone know what this plant's called? That would be great if I knew the name of it. So yeah, this was, this one was £1.50 I think, or £1.25 and the other one was £2 something. It came to £4 I think for both of them. So, I mean this little dude needs repotting already, but... We shall see if he's repotted and rehomed into a bigger pot. Will he sprout babies? Who knows? Because I'm back at the house now, I'm going to get on with some kind of stuff in the garden. Because we're having a bit of a housewarming um, tomorrow and it's a bit of a mess. We're hoping, I mean like we don't have a sofa or anything right now. But I'm hoping if the weather's not like this, we'll be able to be outside. And that there'll be no need for anyone to have to sit on a sofa because <laughs> we won't have one. Anyway. Um, but yeah, 
you can see the garden is a bit of a tip at the moment. There's, it's just, it's just not great. Um, and there's just bits like this over here. That was once a lavender plant, but I absolutely hate lavender. I hate the smell of it. Don't really like the look of it that much. It's not a great colour. So in all in all, give it one out of ten. Um, but underneath it, I reckon it was a rosemary bush. But um, I kind of hacked all of the lavender and ended up chopping this rosemary bush. Now I've got this stump just chilling. I've also got all of this grass that's looking a bit overgrown. So this afternoon I'm going to get on with some of the garden stuff to make it look a little bit prettier in here. And um, I'm going to cut the grass. All of this grass. I don't have a lawn mower. I've only got a um, a grass trimmer, so I'm gonna do all this, this, this with a trimmer. like a little kid on Matilda. A frog, a frog! I am going. Um, 